Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 6th of December. The coldest air so far this season settling in here today. Dry, very cold this week. What about the weather this weekend, the rest of December? Christmas ideas? Yeah, let's see if we can talk about all that. Let's go right to the uh, Skycam images early this morning. And I th first thought I'd start with an image from uh, last Friday. Captured this one about 6.45. I thought that was great. The sun was coming up over the uh, Coosa River coming from the Gadsden Skycam. Notice those patches of ground fog down below. That was great. Uh, this morning uh, at 5 o'clock as I begin this, it's uh, dark and cold out there. That's the uh, Jasper Skycam. Everybody below freezing. So look at the uh, campus of the University of Montevallo and down in Otaga County, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. That's the uh, Prattville Sky Cam. All right, there's your cold trough over the east. Big ridge pumped up out west. High amplitude pattern, and we are in the cold air. Actually, uh, you know, it could be worse. Uh, uh, we've got readings mostly in the 20s. Uh, the cold spot, Haleyville at 22 Coleman at 27, Birmingham at 29. Tomorrow morning and Wednesday morning should be considerably colder as lows get down closer to 20 on both mornings, and I'm sure we're going to see some uh, teens across the colder valleys as we get to these radiational cooling-type mornings. We don't have like uh, conditions like that this morning, but we will uh, both tomorrow and Wednesday. And around the nation, let me tell you what, it's a challenge to find any warm air. You really have to go out to Phoenix and uh, San Diego and Los Angeles and maybe Miami, and that's about it. It's cold just about everywhere. And let me just show you this up front. We often hold this one until the end of the uh, graphics. This is the North Atlantic Oscillation Forecast, the NAO, uh, teleconnections. And, and the, the chart we want to see is the bottom one down there. That's the 14-day uh, forecast. And just wanted to show you how the NAO is forecast to remain negative through mid to late month. And uh, you can see that it, it heads back toward neutral territory briefly, but then it spikes strongly negative again. So uh, the, the idea when the NAO is negative, that tends to uh, mean a, an eastern U.S. upper trough and very cold air for the east and the deep south like we have now. So what that's kind of telling us is that maybe there will be a moderating trend, but it gets cold again. And uh, I can't tell you what the weather's going to be like now at Christmas. Everybody wants to know it's going to be warm or cold, but as long as that NAO stays negative, it could be cold. So we'll see. I, there's just no way of telling you a Christmas forecast right now on December the 6th, but at least for the next two weeks, it sure looks like on an average basis, temperatures should be pretty far below average. Uh, rain in this dry air, forget about it, at least in the short term. This is valid through Friday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, no rain here across the deep south. However, we probably will see some rain over the weekend, as you'll see. And a quick peek at the uh, watch warning map if you'll be traveling. Got some pockets of uh, snow issues, uh, lake effect snows you can see up in the lake effect snow areas. Uh, a bit of uh, light snow down across the uh, southern Appalachians. But again, generally speaking, no major storminess around the nation this morning. We'll check the modeling here. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System. The 06Z run, valid at noon today. There's your big trough over the east and down below that. Dry and cold air advection continues. Yeah, let me tell you what, I don't know if we get out of the 30s today. The, the GFS is showing a high of 39 uh, with the NAM at 41. So, uh, you know, we might see 40, but that wind is going to make it feel colder. It's going to be a very cold day today. Now, tomorrow the winds uh, are lighter. Uh, we'll start the day down in the low 20s. We'll wind up with a high in the uh, low, maybe mid 40s. And I'll tell you what, Wednesday morning uh, uh, could be one of our colder mornings. We'll look at Wednesday. And we note that little Vortmax down there around Dothan. And that brings uh, some rain down across the uh, Gulf of Mexico, but no effect here. Maybe some clouds. We'll call it partly sunny. But the thickness values are lower a little bit on Wednesday. So, again, Wednesday morning, again, low 20s are likely. And if the wind goes calm, inevitably we'll see some teens. And the high on Wednesday should actually be a little lower than the high tomorrow is that Vortmax pulls down some colder air. So, again, the high today around 40, maybe low to mid-40s tomorrow. And then Wednesday, the high drops back to about 40. 
And then Thursday, the day will begin to moderate, but Thursday morning is going to be cold. Again, uh, we'll be down close to 20 with teens for the colder valley. So you see, we're talking a hard freeze tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday morning. But the daytime high should be up around 50 on Thursday. And then Friday will moderate even more with mid-50s likely. So that'll feel a little better. All right, what about the weekend? Got some plans? Let's take a look. This is Saturday. And again, you can see energy coming at us there from the northwest. And down below that, some rain breaks out. This would be just rain uh, over parts of Alabama and Mississippi. This is not a big rain event. The moisture is not going to very, very, be very deep. Now, there's a look at Saturday. A surface low is north of us. Might be a good snow for Chicago and Des Moines and Milwaukee there. Uh, but uh, showers here Saturday night. And then on Sunday, the surface low moves east. Cold air begins to roll right back in here. And uh, this is suggesting there could be a few wraparound snow flurries on Sunday, if this is right. And again, uh, it be, might be a deal with falling temperatures, cloudy, cold, maybe a few snow flurries around. And then Monday, it just gets cold. I mean, uh, again, that would be a day where temperatures don't get out of the 30s. So once we warm up, eh, we turn cold again. Thought I'd show you the European solution. Now, it's a little slower. This is uh, valid Sunday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. It's got uh, rain over much of the state. It's got a better rain event. The 540 line entering Muscle Shoals. And then on Monday, it's cold. I mean, that's colder than the uh, GFS. In fact, if that's right, that would be record cold maybe Monday of next week, a week from today. So the idea, again, for the weekend, it warms up, rains a little bit, and then it turns much colder again, uh, maybe Sunday or certainly Monday of next week. Now, this is uh, at the end of the forecast cycle, the 21st of December. Again, uh, modeling does not carry us to Christmas yet, so... Uh, we won't even take a stab at it, but uh, this is suggesting the pattern deamplifies. And uh, if this is right, this would be one of those periods where it's a little, or it's, let's put it this way, it's not as cold. It's certainly not mild out here, but you can see very cold air just north of us uh, with uh, good snow falling there over Des Moines and uh, Chicago and places like that. But again, as long as that NAO we showed you stays negative, it's not going to warm up a whole lot for any big length of time here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Monday, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.